nine to one. The odds have been bet down to about five to one because of the Lewis fight, because of the 15 months of inactivity, because of the two operations, if ever. And because of that. That is the seventh time in his last three fights that Michael Grant has tasted canvas. You know his body is bone dry, okay. not one drop of sweat on his shoulders. Okay, here we go. Now he has shown he can get up in the past, but he is hurt. He is dazed badly. It was a single left hook by McCline, the first punch of the fight that got Grant in trouble. Now he was in similar trouble early against Galata and managed to weather the storm. But Grant is wobbling and he's complaining that his leg is hurt. Remember, he had a torn ACL and this fight is over. He told the referee that his ankle is broken. Michael Grant told the referee that his ankle is broken. there's any way you can begin to describe the disappointment that Michael Grant has to be feeling at this moment. Well, he should be disappointed to come out in a fight like this. His body is bone dry. Evidently, his corner didn't warm him up at all. Not one ounce of sweat on legs or back. How could a veteran trainer like Teddy Atlas, with all of his vast reputation, bring a fighter into the ring seemingly as unprepared as Grant was for that moment, George? Yeah, he was as cold as ice. And you try to tell a guy, and look, this is something Grant should know for himself. Warm up in the dressing room. When you've been knocked down like that, the fighters are going to come after you again in your first fight from a knockout. Yeah, but let's remember what we said right at the top. How is he going to deal with the trauma of that defeat and, secondly, the long layoff? Well, we'll have to see that on his next fight. <laughs> yeah, let me so. tell you, this guy was knocked down because he was caught cold. And, and the McCline people, you know, his manager came to me this afternoon and said, our plan is to find out everything we can about Grant as quickly as is humanly possible. And McCline very faithfully executed that plan. He ran across the ring and threw a big left hook. He knew what he was supposed to do. Yeah, and if you look across the ring and you see your opponent dry like that, that's what any fighter ought to do should be some sweat somewhere even if you got a hot robe or something on he couldn't even hold a guy properly he was so sweat after he got knocked love down you. and i think he did a good Man, job of getting up but he just couldn't hold him good and there's jameel mccline who has just scored a huge victory there's the first punch of the fight perfect shot with the left hook almost breaking his i'm surprised his knee isn't talking about being broke well, he, he had a torn ACL, which came from the Lewis fight. Surgery to repair that, followed later by the surgery for a blood clot in the right shoulder. And now, as you see, the ice on the right ankle, which Grant says he believes was broken.